Hi, this is Christian Espinoza with Alpine Security. In this video, I'm going to cover the differences between black box, gray box, and white box penetration test. So first, we'll start with black box. A black box penetration test like this black box means we don't really know much about what's inside the box. So all we really know is the IP address or the host name of the target. So this is best for emulating an adversary that doesn't know much about the environment. That is a black box penetration test. We don't know much at all, IP address, host name, URL, that's it. A gray box penetration test takes it a little bit further. With a gray box penetration test, we know a little bit of information about the system we are testing or the environment we're testing. The information we know is typically from the perspective of a user on the network or user on your system. As an example, with a web application gray box penetration test, we would test that web application with an account that has user level permissions on that web application. So if we were testing a physician's portal or a patient portal for a healthcare provider, we would want to test the portal, if it's a patient's portal, using an account that has the same permissions as the patient. Then from there, we would log on to the web application, which is a credentialed, authenticated test, and we would test everything we can see from that patient. And the idea is we wanna see if we can break out of that patient's area and expand horizontally to see another patient's data, or expand vertically where we get access to root level or administrator level, uh, an administrator level account that gives us access to everything. So that's a gray box, also known as authenticated web application test. The other aspect to gray box test is an internal gray box test, which is against an environment. So this is a gray box penetration test against an environment. And typically this is used to emulate an insider threat. So the idea is what happens if one day one of your users on your environment like gets totally upset at you and decides to steal all of your intellectual property. This is where a gray box internal penetration test can come into play. So what we would do if we're doing the penetration test or what the penetration testing team would do is they would have a user level, again user level, account access to your Active Directory domain. And from there, they would see how much damage they could do or what they can get into. But we're emulating some sort of user that has permissions and their account was either stolen or they are malicious or had malicious intent. So that is a gray box penetration test. And the third type of penetration test is a white box penetration test. A white box penetration test is where the penetration testing team has access to everything that they are testing. Typically with a white box penetration test, the penetration testing team is working with the software developers. And when I say they have access to everything, they have access to the documentation, typically the source code, the actual developers themselves that they can talk to. So it's sort of, you know, the covers have been removed, the uh, curtain has been pulled back, and we can see everything about the system under test. That is a white box penetration test. And typically most people associate a white box penetration test with I've got root level or administrator level access of your system and I have access to the documentation as well as the source code and developers. So just a quick review, black box, we just have the box. We All we know is the IP address, host name, URL, gray box, we are testing the box, but we have more information about the box. Not only do we know the IP address, host name, or URL, but if this is a system, we also have a, an account on that system with user level permissions. That's gray box. Or if we're testing an internal gray box penetration test, we have an account with user level permissions on your domain, for instance, your Active Directory domain. White box. Uh, just like this box here, but this is a black box. If we made this white, we would have access to everything, all the documentation of who developed this, the uh, source code, 
We could pull back this and look inside of it. We would have access to everything about that system and the access level would be at the level of an administrator or developer or root level access. So that's white box. Uh, from a level of effort perspective, uh, black box penetration testing typically, typically takes the least level of effort. Gray box takes more and white box takes much more. Uh, and typically they, they, they change by how or which, which type of adversary you're trying to emulate. As we mentioned, a, a black box is just somebody that doesn't have much information about you. A gray box is a user level access and a white box is typically used during the development of a product uh, or an application. Do you have any questions about penetration testing? You can leave them beneath this video. Hopefully you found this video useful. Subscribe to our channel. If you want a penetration test, you can contact us. I'll put the link beneath the video for our penetration testing services. And if you want to learn about penetration testing, we offer many, many classes on penetration testing. I'll put that link beneath as well. Thanks and have a great day.